do you know about dark matter? If you don't know then don't worry. It is a type of matter which has not yet been directly observed, but it is a fundamental part of our universe, and, it plays a central role in our current understanding of the universe. Very strong evidence suggests its existence. And a broad scientific consensus agrees that, some form of dark matter is widely present in our universe, and, it has shaped the structure of our universe, similar to dark matter in cosmos, there is a biological dark matter, that is, dark DNA, which is unclassified, and, poorly understood, very recently discovered about its presence, but the very existence of dark DNA, is raising some fundamental questions about genetics, and, evolution. Controversially, dark DNA might even be a driving force of evolution, for better understanding. Let us look into current research on sand rats. The fat sand rat is a strange, desert creature, it lives in burrows, eats around 80% of its body mass in leaves each day, and doesn't drink water. But, the really odd thing about this gerbil, is that some of its DNA appears to be missing. If we put it in a lab, then something strange happens. When fed a normal diet, the standard fare for laboratory rodents, sand rats tend to become obese, and develop type 2 diabetes. The mystery of why these gerbils, are so susceptible to the disease, has remained unsolved. But, the smoking gun seemed to be a gene called PDX1 in them was missing. The PDX1 protein it codes for has many roles, including in the development of the pancreas, and, in switching the insulin gene, on and off. PDX1 was not the only missing gene. In fact, a big chunk of DNA containing nearly 90 genes, which are found on the same chromosome, in other animals, was nowhere to be seen. Many of these genes, like PDX1, are essential for survival. What's more, we can found in their corresponding RNA transcripts which are the copies of stretches of genetic code that cells use as templates to make proteins, but, where were the genes gone? Most textbooks describe, evolution as a two-step process. First, a steady trickle of random genetic mutation, creates variation in an organism's DNA, then, natural selection acts like a filter, deciding which mutations are passed on. This usually depends on, whether they confer some sort of advantage. Although not everything produced over the course of evolution, is an adaptation. So, natural selection is the sole driving force pushing the direction in which organisms evolve. But, add dark DNA to the picture, and that's not necessarily the case. If genes contained within these mutation hotspots have a greater chance of mutating than those elsewhere, they will display more variation on which natural selection can act, so the traits they confer will evolve faster. In other words, Dark DNA could influence the direction of evolution, giving a driving role to mutation. Indeed, the mutation rates in dark DNA may be so rapid, that natural selection, cannot act fast enough to remove deleterious variants, in the usual way. Such genes, might even become adaptive later on, if a species faces, a new environmental challenge. For example, if sand rats eat nutritionally rich food, then, they will develop diabetes, and die. That could mean they are constrained to living in deserts. So, dark DNA could be both their liberator, and, their jailer.